Do you want harder erections? Which medication is right for you to get those? I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today we're gonna talk about which medication gives men what they want harder, stronger erections. Having issues with erections or erectile dysfunction, which is defined as the inability to get or maintain an erection that's firm enough for sexual activity, is a very common problem affecting millions of people around the world. And we like to make things simple as doctors. You can either have an erection or you can't have an erection. But the issue is much more complex. It's not just the physical act of having sex that matters. Having issues with erections affects your entire well-being, your ability to connect with your partner intimately, and can have a huge impact on your confidence. So it's really important to be able to be confident that you can get an erection. And that's why these medications are important, because they can give you back this ability Ability to get your erections. Now, the three most common medications are sildenafil, tadalafil, and vardenafil. And all of these work sort of similarly to increase blood flow to the penis, which allows you to then achieve and maintain an erection. Now, these medications have been around for a while, and we know that generally they're safe and they're effective for most men. And I've covered their safety and efficacy in a whole bunch of videos in the past, so make sure you check those out on my channel, and you can learn a whole lot more about it. But what most most guys want to know is what's the best option? And while everyone is individual and I can't universally say, hey, this is the best for all of you, I can tell you what people actually prefer. So when thinking about what matters to men who are looking for a medication that's going to work, they obviously want to achieve and maintain an erection. That's number one. But there's other factors to think about. That can include the ability to be spontaneous, for it to feel natural, for the partner to be accepting of it, and for the partner to be satisfied satisfied, for it to be convenient, to be you know, able to hide it if you need to, and for it to work quickly. And interestingly, people also care how successful does the medication work on the first try. Now you might know from my prior videos that it can take up to eight tries to get the most efficacy out of a medication like sildenafil, but it makes sense that nobody really wants to try and have sex with a partner and come up short. But seriously, it's also important because we know that having a negative first experience can actually discourage men from continuing treatment at all, and that's a problem. The first dose success rate is actually different across the board. So when you think about the different medications, sildenafil has a first attempt success rate of about 54% and 64% on the second use. Tadalafil has a 74% first dose success rate at 10 milligrams and 79% with the 20 milligram dose. And Vardenafil has a 74% success rate after its first use. So as you can see, they are a bit different. Now, how about how quickly they work and how long their effects last? So when you think about Sildenafil or Vardenafil, they both have a shorter half-life. So in general, they'll last for about four hours. And Tadalafil has a longer half-life, and so they can last around 36 hours. But how quickly do they take effect? Sildenafil and Vardenafil tended to work faster within about 15 to 30 minutes, while Tadalafil took a bit longer on the order of two hours. Now that's not across the board, not in my experience have I seen that happen for all patients, but certainly in this one study, that's what they saw. So what do patients prefer? And actually, it's not 100% clear. In some studies with anywhere from 219 to 2,500 men, they found that anywhere from 73 to 82% prefer Tadalafil. Other studies that had a smaller number of participants, somewhere on the order of 59 to 186, found that about 50 to 58% preferred Sildenafil. Now, when they looked at the the characteristics of these men, they found that younger men tended to prefer Tildalafil, and older men, or those who needed higher doses, tended to prefer Sildenafil. Now this might be because when you're older, you might not have as much sexual frequency, and that's not me stereotyping, it's actually been seen in the literature that as you age, you have sex less frequently. So then they may not want to take a medication daily for something that's not happening quite all that often. They may also have other medical problems, so that it makes it more difficult for them to want to add another daily medication to their regimen. 
So is there a clear winner? Well, there is one very large study that tried to figure this out. It's called the Erectile Dysfunction Observational Study. And this was a six month study that followed over 8,000 men across Europe. And they were either starting or switching erectile dysfunction treatments. The researchers wanted to see how these men responded to the different PDE5 inhibitors, sildenafil, tadalafil, and vardenafil. And the study found that the majority of men, around 80 2% stuck with the same medication throughout the six month period. But when you break it down, it gets a little more interesting. The continuation rates varied depending on which drug they were started on. So for men who started on Tadalafil, 89% of them continued using it for the full six months. In comparison, only about 63 to 64% of men who started on Sildenafil or Vardenafil stuck with those medications for the entire six months. And when people did switch, they did because one, men with more severe ED at the start were more likely to switch treatments, likely because they don't always work. Also, men who had more education were more likely to try switching between different ED medications. Now, that may be just because they realized that just because one didn't work, others may work better. So when you look at the numbers, the men who were prescribed sildenafil or vardenafil were four times more likely to switch than those on tadalafil. So why is tadalafil making men more likely to stick with it? Well, researchers, and I think it might come down to convenience and how natural the experience feels. This is because, as I mentioned, tadalafil has a longer half-life. So you don't have to remember to take it immediately right before an hour before you want to have sex. You can take it in the morning and have sex later that day. The other thing is you also don't have to worry about your diet around the time you're taking tadalafil because you can take it with food. Whereas taking sildenafil or vardenafil, you have to do this on an empty stomach or a very low fat meal. And so you're able then to be one more in the moment. You can be more spontaneous. You can be more flexible. The other thing about tadalafil is that you can take a low dose every single day. This allows you to have complete spontaneity. You don't even have to remember to take it when you think you might have sex. It also benefits men who have an enlarged prostate. So when someone has both of those issues, doing a daily dose of tadalafil can be very helpful. And in a study where men switched from on-demand, meaning taking it as needed, a medication like tadalafil, to daily tadalafil, they found that men had a higher confidence in their ability to complete the sexual activity. They also had more satisfaction with orgasm, and even more so their partners liked it. Their partners also noted higher confidence that they were going to be able to have complete sexual activity. They were more satisfied with their partner's erections, and and satisfied with the medication. And other studies have actually shown that some men want to have both. They want to have sildenafil on hand and tadalafil on hand so they can decide which one, which again is totally fine and safe as long as you're not taking high doses of both those medications at the same time. The other thing that I often do is I'll have patients take a daily dose of tadalafil and I'll add a smaller dose of either tadalafil or sildenafil with that on demand. And that is safe if it's done so with a doctor's supervision. Now, I think it's important to understand that a lot of these studies are observational or survey studies, and they're not randomized controlled trials. So we can't say for certain that the men who continued on Tadalafil did it just because the medication was great or because of other reasons themselves. But what I want you to take away here is that when it comes to ED medications, one size doesn't fit all. Different men respond better to certain medications and have different preferences, right? And they want to think about convenience, spontaneity, and how natural the experience is. And so if you are thinking about starting a medication, think about what matters to you most and make sure you tell your doctor that. For example, if you value spontaneity or like to have sex after dinner, maybe Tadalafil is better for you. Whereas if you want to make sure it works quickly, Sildenafil and Vardenafil tend to work more quickly after taking the medication. So think about those things. Talk to your doctor. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you are enjoying this content, make sure you check out my podcast on the podcast platforms for Apple, Spotify, wherever you listen to podcasts. There you'll find longer form content as well as interviews with experts about sexual health and so much more. And as always, you want to take care of yourself because you're worth it.